Hey, man, we got a game-breaking glitch, man. Do you guys never want to get another loss on your record again? Yes, we already know that the damn season in 2K24 resets the record every season, right? But I'm going to tell you why they probably really implement game break. We got Young Badge Plug and Solo exposing 2K24. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest in existence but look before we get into any of that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new help me hit 281k.2 we are like 40 subscribers away and make sure you hit that goddamn like button help me get 100 likes within the first hour so the vid gets pushed to the algae rhythm so young swan can grow so look jabridge tweeted this out i know a lot of y'all don't know okay most of 2k does not know this i know some of y'all might think Everyone knows this, but they don't. If you close that, you don't get an L. Wreck, park, everything, right? So this is making a lot of people catfish their records, okay? I'm playing with goddamn 96, 100 win percents, and they're horrible. You know, sometimes someone has a, a nice record and they're horrible, but this is like different. Like they're playing like a goddamn 40 win percent. You feel me? And this has to be fixed. Okay, it has to, I don't think you have to get 19 points. Y'all let me know down below. But if you close that, you don't get the L. That's why y'all see so many people quitting and ones, whatever the hell it is. It's horrible, bro, because it's hard to find people to play with. Now, now for me personally, for me to find someone that's even capable of being able to play with the lights on and the aura of the swan, because you know I got that MJ aura. You feel me? They have to have an 80 plus. And even then, that's if you don't got an ego, you're, you're not going, you're going to be too nervous and all that. But I'm playing with, I, I can't find real teammates, bro. So if y'all got an 80 plus, a real legit one, hit me up, bro. But it's, it's, it's bad. But look, 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 listen, 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 listen. I think, here's my theory, theory swan. I think that they implemented records resetting every season because they found out that if you close app, you don't get an L. Maybe someone found that out and maybe that's why they really implemented it. Cause I mean, think about it. Do doesn't that make sense? Man, they, they're like, man, if you, we can't even fix this. They closing up, they not getting the L, we mine as well. Just make it reset every season. And I think that's insane. I see a lot of people mad, even casuals that, you know, your record, it, it gives you less of a thing to grind and play for like if you just feel like nothing matters why would you participate man that's just human nature something you know i know i people do care way too much about they win loss but like that win loss tells a lot despite what y'all might think but you're probably on the other side that's why you think that it tells a lot okay because you know i know a lot of y'all don't think it but look you're decent if you are good enough you're gonna eventually find a team right and you're gonna be able to get certain type of win percents if you're just always playing with randoms you're not gonna really be like able to hang with certain people that know certain things that you don't know because if you were you would have been able to because when you naturally play versus each other, you're like, wow, that guy's good. Let me add him. Let me, you feel me? That's how people get friends and all that. But yeah. But look, he's saying the same thing. Look, Nate Exe, people really close app in parks. So look, if y'all see people close app, that's what they're doing. Expose them. Start exposing these people, bro. Seriously. Look, Quavo, Quavo, stop flexing win percent. You could close app and not receive a L. No one cares. It has to be fixed. You see, a lot of people ain't even know. This has to be fixed. Because how I'm going to find people to play with? People always say to me, Swante, just give me a try. Swante, look, I'm good. I'm good. I end up running with them 0 for 3 for in the corner. But hey, if you need people to run with, join my Discord, man. We got like 20,000 people in there. You can find people to run with. All that, man. So look, Badge tweets this out. He says, 2K is not a casual game anymore. Every game, you got to be locked in. Okay? Let me give y'all... A perspective 2k first off is more casual than ever all video games are going more casual than ever I know a lot of people want their era to be the the, the moment when everything's getting all sweaty and petty filled with confetti and and it's just so comfy and it, it just has the highest skill gap but that's just not how it is bro everything in life is going more casual user friendly everything in life it cannot be denied in the beginning of the year i went on an escapade to prove 
that they are creating the de the game for casual users, for usual user friendly users. God of War, you know, they play this whole once a week. They are creating it for those people. Every time a big thing erupted within the community, all the devs, eight plus of them, tweeting saying we are making this whole for the casuals it is documented evidence okay when they say all this skill gap stuff that is just marketing bro that is all marketing when it come to it they are creating it for casuals now the reason badge can feel like this he is a great player right 90 something plus one percent beat all plenty type of comp people the reason he's feeling like this is because what they're doing is limiting the better players, right? Say say two people are running, right? They're making the better player, instead of him being able to run at 100 speed, they're making him run at 70 speed, and then they're making that casual player that will usually run at 30 speed be able to run at 50 speed or 60 speed because they're holding their hand, right? So then that creates them being able to compete more. If you, if Badge, and he be playing with the sweatiest <laughs> people in the game, right? If he's feeling like he has to lock in every game, that literally means that it's casual based. Because when you create a game that's casual based, think about it, guys. If it's casual based, that means anyone can do everything. And that makes it difficult in the sense that they can do what you're doing and be able to compete. But for some reason, game developers think creating a game of chaos, because that's what's creating a game for casuals truly is, is the answer. But not even casuals like games like that, because once they smarten up, they'll be like, bro, is this random? I'm not I'm not getting rewarded for things that I'm doing skillfully when I predict everything correctly and then they'll start to get annoyed and they'll start to feel like it's random and that's the most annoying thing as a gamer bro when you feel like things just go at random and that no matter what you do you can't stop some okay eventually everyone evolves into that point but a lot of people they just don't notice it but developers are thinking that if if they create a game where people are more on the same level that's more fun for the majority when it's really not because they're gonna eventually notice i had high ground and he still destroyed me i thought i was supposed to have high ground you know like you, you feel what i'm saying and they've already had skill-based matchmaking in the game but still for badge plug to say this that means it's casual based if you feel like you have to lock it's it's, it's hard to explain you know and guys I have a 90 plus 1% every year. I'm not out here losing none of that, bro. Okay. Badge plug tweets out, you apparently only need 50 wins now in 3v3 Pro-Am for double rep. And then Badge is saying, some people are saying only if your team was diamond last season. I don't know. Y'all let me know if this is true or not. It's like, it's like, it's like, for instance, guys, uh, one more thing with the skill gap. It's like, for instance, if someone can just drive and hold square right and score it every time and they're a 21 percent player and then a skilled player the 81 percent player they just can't stop it right okay think about it if he's scoring every time that 21 percent player because the difficulty is so low the skilled player is gonna be like bro this is why do i have to lock in so much because that casual person, no matter what the 80 percent person does he's not being able to get stops because it's so casual friendly that it's making him seem way better than he is. So he has to lock in. Do y'all get it? It's like, for instance, they're able to make way more shots that only certain skilled players, but now it's it's everyone they can make it. And then it it makes you lock in more. You get what I'm saying? So it, that, that that's what I mean. The badge tweets this out. Limitless range was changed again recently. Proof in my video today. Y'all let me know what proof he found, man. And not a single person from 2K said anything. I think it was a good change, but I just want transparency. Why are we getting on the game and Easter egg hunting for changes? Hey, they've been doing this for several years. A lot of people don't know, bro. Listen, y'all want me to tell y'all something? Listen, listen, listen. 2K always makes shooting way easier towards the, the fourth quarter half of the year. It's way easier than it was in the beginning of the year. Promise you, bro. 
every single time, every year. Okay, this Sean guy says something about dribbling being delayed solo. Okay, he says, yes, this was happening to me yesterday. I noticed it when I would be in the right midi and try it and flick left to do a crossover. I tried three to four times and this happens on a few occasions and it wouldn't do it. GV says, happens to me so much in the mid range. I flick five times and not a single dribble move occurs. Yes. This happens all the time, bro. A lot of 2Ks. Um, I don't know what's, I always have the best internet, everything, best monitors. In, in these 2Ks, bro, like I be so delayed, I don't even be dribbling, dog. Like I just do them with the one, two because everything's so delayed. Some moves activate, some moves don't. And now this is the most delayed 2K, bro. I just, huh, 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 huh. Because hoes don't be activating. Like, there's no point of comboing. There's no benefit of comboing. Ah, they need to fix this hoe, my boy. But yeah, and also, I did tell a dev about the record thing. And he, he said he sent it in, man. And I told a, uh, devs about all these zenners trying to get them console banned. And I'm gonna keep y'all up to date, man. So y'all click on this video if y'all wanna watch uh, Joe Knows and Precise Wager through the perspective of the sweat. Hey, hey, here we go again. Again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.